in this session we'll be taking a look at the position property in css so the topic for discussion for this session is css position property so what is the use of this position property in css it is used for positioning an element in a specific place on the web page and this property takes up different values so what kind of values it takes up is it takes up static and absolute relative fixed and uh, sticky so we are going to take a look at this property the position property and how these values affect the placement of an element on a specific place in the web page so let's start off with a very basic uh, html page so in this page uh, we are going to talk about uh, positioning of elements using the position property so we'll say css position as the title and uh, inside the body i'm going to have some divisions uh, division tags so i'll call this uh, div tag with the class parent so we're going to have a parent div inside this we're going to have some child uh, uh, div tags so let me have another div tag here and this class will be child one and uh, we'll have another div tag so we have some children uh, inside a parent that is the meaning here so we have this uh, class for this div to be child two and we'll have another div so we call this uh, to be class we give this class to be child 3 so we have three child divs under one parent div maybe we will give some text here this is uh, parent and uh, some text here it's like uh, this is child 1 child 1 and uh, some text here that is uh, this is child 2 and this div is child 3 this is child 3 so we have uh, created this simple web page wherein we have a parent div tag under the parent we have three children so child 1 child 2 child 3 we have give, given different class names for each of the div tags now we'll add some uh, css to this so let me use this test.css file wherein i'll create some css add some css to my uh, div tags so i'll link up this uh, page so it's a style sheet test.css which we are going to link here and in test.css we'll first uh, uh, style the parent we'll give a background color uh, we'll give the background color as red and we'll also have some height and width say height to be some 700 pixels and uh, width to be width to be some 500 pixels so this is our parent and we'll also style all the children so child one child one will have a different background color we'll have that to be blue aqua okay so and we'll also have a different height and width for the children the so height i'll go with 200 pixels and width to be 200 pixels so that is the child one likewise we'll also style the child two uh, child two will have the background color to be say brown and uh, maybe we'll take some other color since it's not uh, so visible and uh, we'll have the height to be 200 pixels and width to be 200 pixels so that is child 2 we'll now take up child 3 we'll style it using the class name child 3 and uh, here we'll have the background color uh, maybe some dark blue yeah and uh, we'll have the height and width height to be 200 pixels same thing width to be some 200 pixels so we have created this web page which contains a parent division inside that we have three children and we have given some colors uh, background colors and height and width for all the divisions now as and when we finished coding you will be able to see that all these divisions occur in the normal flow of the document so since we have declared the parent first it comes first within that we have child one then child two then child three now if i want to move if you want to move the parent from the position where it is in the normal flow of the document 
50 pixels down from the top then what is that i'm going to do is i'm going to say position relative so we are going to use the position property here so what is this position relative it refers to is from wherever position it is currently in with respect to the normal flow of the document you move from the top 50 pixels so you can see from its relative position it has moved 50 pixels so this is called relative positioning what is relative positioning based on the normal flow of the document an element is position so when i say relative from that position move so many pixels so now i have moved this parent from the top 50 pixels from wherever it was currently placed say now if i want to move this child to the left 200 pixels using relative positioning what does that mean so i'm going to go to child 2 and then i'm going to use position relative and then move to the left so we'll use left and then we'll say 200 pixels so you can very well see that there are certain things happening here so child 2 was placed in the normal flow of the document and from that place relative to that place we are moving 200 pixels to the left and the other elements are not disturbed they stay where they are and there is some space left out from where we have moved this element so this place is vacant so other elements are not getting affected when we use relative positioning the year only the child moves the other children are uh, in their respective places so this is relative positioning from the position where it is with respect to the normal flow of the document move it so i hope you have understood relative positioning let me move this uh, child to back uh, let me delete that let's have child to back so that is uh, relative positioning and we'll take a look at absolute positioning what do you mean by absolute positioning Say if I use a position for the same child, position absolute. Now it's not relative, it, it's absolute. And then I'll move it to the left 200 pixels. You can very well see how it is different from a relative positioning. So in absolute positioning, it moves to the left 200 pixels. And this move happens with respect to its parent. So this parent, from the parent, it moves 200 pixels. And it's not with respect to its relative position. It's, it, it's with respect to the parent. The move happens with respect to the parent element. So from the parent, so it's moving 200 pixels. And you see, there is no vacant position left. The other children align up. It's like there is no vacancy here. This is floating. So child 2 is, has started to float, we can say. So the other elements immediately occupy the vacant slot. So this is absolute. Say if I want to move this from the top uh, 10 pixels. So I would just want 10 pixels from the top for child 2. If I just give top 10 pixels. So you can very well see it is from the top. That is it takes the parent and from that it moves 10 pixels. So we have from the top 10 pixels. So what here? top means is the parent so absolute positioning is positioning your element with respect to a parent element so you can say this is the parent so this is the ancestor for child 2 so when i say move 200 pixels left and 10 pixels from the top it is positioning it according to its parent so 10 pixels from the top and 200 pixels from the left and how it is different from the relative positioning you don't have a vacant slot the other uh, children align accordingly and take up that vacant slot and the position happens with respect to the parent so that is absolute positioning i hope you are able to follow this now let us take a look at the next value that is fix it say i will again move this child 200 pixels to the left and then 10 pixels from the top but i will use the property fix it so let's take a look at this it's a position and then fix it and i'm going to move to the left 200 pixels and from the top i'm going to take say 10 pixels now you can very well see this positioning is not happening with respect to a parent it, it's with respect to the html element so now you're going to take up this so it's going to be 
positioning with respect to the page so it is 10 pixels from the top and 200 pixels from the left and here there is no involvement of the parent but again you, you'll be able to see like what you have seen in absolute there is no vacant slot available once when the element moves the vacant slot get filled with the other elements so that is fixed fixed in the sense it fixes itself with respect to the html page and not with respect to any parent and scrolling will not have any impact on this child say i'll just increase the divisions i'll just increase a child three many times just to say that scrolling doesn't impact when you put an element in the fixed slot so now what i've done is i've just increased the number of child three div tags that's it just to tell you that when you place something as fixed it fixes itself with the html page say left 200 pixels top 10 pixels and uh, scrolling will not have an impact on this element say child 2 is not impacted by scrolling you can very well see that so this is called position fixed in what way it is different from absolute it fixes itself with respect to the html element and not to any parent okay and scrolling will not have any impact on this particular element so this is fixed i hope you are now clear with the difference between relate to absolute and fixed now we'll move on to the next thing that is static so what is this static static is nothing but it is nothing but taking up the position as per the normal flow of the document so this is where child 2 is and you see once when you are using static left top right bottom will have no effect on the element so static is taking the position that will occur according to the normal flow of the document so when you are going to give position to be static the left right top bottom uh, properties will have no impact on static so that is static and uh, we'll come to our final concept that is sticky what is this sticky sticky is uh, very much similar to relative and it also works like fixed so we'll take an example here say i will say from the left we'll move to 200 pixels and from the top uh, we'll move it to 50 pixels so now when i say from the left 200 pixels it's going to work like a relative positioned element so first it takes the property of relative positioning that is from the left 200 pixels from where it is normally occurring in the document so that is relative positioning and now it's going to have the effect of relative positioning until some point in time say when i scroll it it's going to be in relative positioning mode but then when it reaches the top 50 pixels now it is going to be in fixed positioning so it's now transitioning to a fixed position mode what is fixed positioning you see it has arrived uh, to 50 pixels from the top and now the scrolling has got no impact on uh, this say for certain period of time it acts as a relative positioned element say left 200 pixels and once when it reaches the top 50 pixels now it is going to fix itself so scrolling will not have an impact when you scroll down but when you scroll up it will be like a relatively positioned element so sticky is a combination of both relative positioning and we can say uh, that is fixed positioning so for certain time period it acts as a relative positioned element so you can see scrolling is having an impact but when it reaches top 50 pixels it takes the property of fixed so it's going to fix itself there and then scrolling will not have an impact on it so it's fixed so that's about it and uh, we have seen uh, all the properties with good examples so we started off with relative positioning what is relative positioning the element occurs in some place according to the normal flow of the document when you position it relatively from that position it moves so many pixels left right top bottom what is absolute positioning it is the element will position itself based on its ancestor or its parent so when you say position absolute and left 200 and top 50 pixels so it's going to position it according to its parent or the ancestor so you can ask me if an ancestor is not existing if a parent element is not existing then the html element will be its parent and then the third thing we have looked at is uh, we are looking at position fixed what is position fixed here the positioning happens with respect to the html element and not according to any other parent so when i say top 50 pixels it's with respect to the html element 
and we have seen position static it is like the element occurs in the normal flow of the document left right bottom or top will not have any impact on the position of the element and the final thing we have seen is sticky sticky is a little confusing it is both the combination of relative positioning and and fixed positioning so at some point in time it's going to act as a relative positioned element and when you start scrolling after a certain limit it will start acting as a fixed position element so that's about uh, css positioning i hope you all were able to follow this and uh, if you have any uh, questions or if you have any issues you can leave your comments below thank you for listening thank you